This is a picture of the sky taken by Mr. Lee Jizzle. He told me that he felt like he was being watched. And then he looked out and he looked like this very, he was right, there's a lot of faces in those clouds. But not only faces, hands, for example. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness, this dude caught a major deal here. Look at this hand right here. It's a whole arm and a hand, a huge black hand. Wow, man. I mean, this is so incredible that the whole thing is one giant hand. I mean, this is a big hand multiplied by several smaller hands. Check this out. This is the main hand. Each of these lines are hands, even in the blue part. It's incredible. It's just amazing how the, this entity can project. Look, a smaller hand with claw in their fingers. Look. And then you see the curl finger holding that thing that the cylinder that has the universal divine laws of the universe uh, that's the the cylinder right there check it out This symbol appears on every planet, moon, on the sky as you're looking at it. On, on comets, asteroids, nebulas, galaxies, that shape is on the sun in space. I mean, I have done so many videos and that thing appears, it's translucent. The structures that make a space and it goes in through every single planet, moon, after, and we are swimming in that shape, translucent. It repeats billions of times from side to side, front to back. We engulf into this, and they, I don't know what's so, so important about this symbol. And they, they repeat that over and over and over. Look at the hands first, this black hand. And it's not difficult to see it, come on. Two fingers, three fingers, four fingers. Five fingers. There's something like we are the master puppeteers. And these are the strings, and we pull the strings, and we own you. You do what we tell you to do. As a human being, you will be a little. The little puppet, which is us, the humans. They make us get angry, get sad, get just negative energy. 
is what they fear of. That's what this hand means, right there. That's what that means. We are pulling the strings, and you are the puppet. You are the puppet. So that was only to give you an idea. Now let's look at this. Uh, it's all about hands, and from the hands they make faces. Look at this face, it looks like a, some kind of, oops, reptile here, look. Look like, like uh, one of those angler fish from the dip, from deep down the ocean. One of those angler fish. Look at that with the fin. But really, it's a hen. It's just, it's just incredible how they can make these shapes. So there is one face here, or, or eye. There's another one here. And there is still another face, uh, eye here that makes, with three eyes, they can make two faces. So this is one face, and then they make a second face. So like I say, with three eyes, they make two faces. I mean, it, it, is, it is so incredible how they can do this. But it's all fingers and hands. It's just, it's hard to describe it. Look at this thing right here. It looks almost like a, like a mermaid. Look at the eyes with a vertical pupil. Reptiles are the only ones that have vertical pupil and cats. And these are not cats. And look at their body with their fins. It's almost like a, some kind of flying and look at the arms, the fingers. The elbows. Look, and it produced from that cloud right there. I mean, there are so many that I cannot even begin to do to do the drawing because it's so, they overlap each other on top of that. So look at this. I mean, that's what I call a heck of a geometrical knowledge, how they combine things that make faces and eyes that really are fingers. Oh, there's another nasty looking face here, really angry looking. Look. The mouth full of ah, teeth. It's hard to do the drawing with, with a mouse. But look what, let me show you what this is really. This is a finger. Look at, look at the fingernail right there. Look. I mean, this 
This is so clear. I can see all these fingers. This is a big fingernail. This is a finger. There's no any damn fish or any damn ghost. It's always the same thing. A hand. And then look, this is the, the symbol right there. Why is that symbol so important that they plaster that on everything? And the hand go from left to right, from left to right, and from right to left. And it's subdivided into a smaller, look, there's a smaller fingernail right there, oops. The same square looking deal like that. So when you see this, and look at the other hand right here, the other thumb. And it goes around. And it makes a finger the other way, from right to left, and ends with a pointy claw. Same thing here, it ends with a pointy claw. So this way will be, on, on this hand, let me, let me redo this. I mean, it's just so, look, one finger goes here, the middle finger there, then the index, then the thumb right here, and that's the, the symbol, the cylinder thing. The cylinder thing goes down like that, and then the other fingers like that. I mean, it goes so many ways, but it's the same thing. And you have this face right here, her fingers. Look, a ghostly looking thing right here. And it has a, what has another finger, look, look at the, oh my god, and then look, look how it, it cuts right there, has another fingernail and a smaller ones. Really what this is doing is the same pattern that you see in the blue part, in the blue part the, the fingers are there too. Look. Let me show you on the blue part what the finger, look at the outlines. I'm gonna do it by just looking at the, at the camera. This is translucent, that's why it's so difficult to see it. Then you have fingers, I mean fingernails, it's the main thing that you see. <clears throat> the outlines of the finger are difficult to see, but the square part of the fingernails is, is easier. And it's subdivided because it's over, over, it repeats over and over.